let's take a look at how you save a file in ZBrush. So as you know by now, this is called a tool. These are called tools. And a tool may contain subtools, as is the case in all of these. And here, in this tool menu, we've got this button that says Save As. Let's click it. And from there, we can save a ZTL file. So when we are saving as a ZTL file, it will only save the currently selected tool and the subtools that it contains. So none of these will be saved in this file. Only the currently selected tool. Okay? Then here in this file drop menu, we've got this possibility to save a project. Let's click it. So it's called ZPR, ZPR, sorry, ZPR file, ZBrush project file. And when we save as a ZBrush project file, it will save each of these tools and their subtools. But in addition to that, it will also save, for example, any alphas that you might have imported or any brushes that you have you might have created like an insert mesh brush for example or any lighting settings that you might have made to the material uh, and images that you might have imported it will save absolutely everything that you have made during the session okay and then there is also this uh, possibility to save as a document. So from this document drop menu, you can go here and save as a document. That's ZBR, Z, ZBrush document file. And a ZBrush document file will save this document. So this, it will create a two and a half D image out of whatever there is on this document or canvas. And so it's not something that you want to save. You don't want to save as a document. You want to save either as a, uh, as a ZPR, a ZBrush project file, or as a ZTL. I said tool file. Okay, that's that.